Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog, and welcome along to the lunchtime stream. We are back. It is Tuesday, the 5th of December. And after a couple of days off from the lunchtime stream, we are back. And we are ready to take on the beast, or carry on taking on the beast that is recursed. What's going on, Paul Ponky? Welcome on to stream. Hope you are well. Hope you had a great weekend. And I hope things up in uh, Dundee are not too cold for you. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump in. And um, let's try and remember where we got to. We're on ruins, aren't we? That's right, we're on ruins. So last time out, I think we got... <coughs> Excuse me. I think we got like two crystals and one of the diamonds. So I know that there is a... Um, uh, Paradox. That's what I'm trying to, in interlock as well. Um, I just need to kind of try and remember how to get to that. But without further ado, let us begin. Okay. So where do you take me? You take me over there to get the key. So something I did similar to what I did with the. Sorry, that doesn't make any bit of sense. Let me start that phrase again. Something that I did with to create the paradox almost feels like is what I need to do here. Similarly, I mean we can also take these over here. We take all of these out here, like so. Put both these chests here. Not that it really does a lot for us. I try and get my bearings back in this game. We're still going, Aaron. What's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. Welcome along to the stream. We are still going strong. Well, I won't say strong, but we're still going. <laughs> How did I create the paradox before? I need to remember. I'm good, thank you. Very good. Thank you for asking. Aha! Right, so. This is how we create the paradox. I believe. So. Yeah. Now, I just need to remember. Not that one. Let's just go to the same place. Excellent. These two just go to the same place. So. Here's what we do. We take this one. And we're going to put this one here. Don't want that one. I think it's this one. I think. Yeah, this is the extra chest, right? So, I'll take this. Go through here. Go through here. I need to remember this. This is where it gets confusing. I need to get through to the other one. That's what I need to do. Okay, let's go through here. Here first. Right, so once I'm in here, I can now go and jump through into here. I need that other chest back. Where did I put the other chest? Maybe I need to create another instance of the chest. So, now I can take... Yeah, that's right. Okay, so now I take this one. I go through into this one. Go back through into here. And now let's say I take this. Just throw that up there. Paradox! Yay! No, wrong again. I can't exit into a room when the chest I entered has been removed. It's a little bit confusing. It's a little bit confusing. Alright, so. 
I need to give this a bit of thought, because we, we got this far before, right? And obviously, once we get up to the top, then there's no going back, is there? So, taking this through here, we'll do absolutely nothing. If we drop it there, we've lost it, and then that's game over. So, we don't really need to do anything else in this area here at the moment. It's kind of like where I wish I had like a almost like a quick save. Uh, okay, Aaron, no worries. Yes, okay, fantastic. So So that just floats to the top, right? Throw that in there. See, the problem is, right? I can do this, right? Hold on. Don't the stones... Oh, the stones don't... Oh, okay. That's another alternative I hadn't considered. If I could just get one more block through here. So. Alright, let's do this then. I think this will work. Uh, there is a good reason why I won't be called that. And that's because I hate my name. I hate my proper name. Okay. Issue here. See, I can create as many of these as I want. Oh yeah, I forgot about that.
Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I like that name. I just don't like my like proper full formal name. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Huh. Why can't I jump down these gaps? I don't know what to do here with this paradox. I mean, this one, Deathrish said it took him a couple of attempts to do it. Hey Eddie, what's going on buddy? I mean, sure I could do something like... can't get back down. What if? What if? Oh, that's not going to work there, is it? I like this wicked idea. But it doesn't affect this chest though, that's a problem. Haha, <coughs> haha, haha. Ha, ha. Yeah, no, my idea clearly isn't gonna work because it's not we haven't got an enchanted chest it was kind of like perch the chest on the end here and float up with the jewel and then see if I could like grab it kind of like see if I could have like grabbed it off the edge
don't want to take that back though, do I? And I've just completely not really broken it. Seems like that, that can't work when it's up, up there. So, gosh darn it. All right, well, how about instead we actually try and just solve the regular level. All right, so that's where we create the, that's where we create the duplicate room, this chest here. So, pile everything in here for a start. Okay, back into here. So now we have these two chests are duplicated. So we can always return to here. What does duplicating that do for me? Sure, I can like... I can throw that one up there. But we need the key first. And then duplicated. What does that do for me? Anything I would say, I need to take one into there, like take of instance of itself into itself. But unless we physically go through the chest. make any difference is it too big a gap there I'm gonna like move on to the next area. I'm gonna move on to the next area, um, which is the temple area, and we'll come back to some of those um, puzzles. I just kind of like need a break. I need to do something different. I think. But yeah, let's um, let's crack on. Let's hear what the ring has to say, shall we? Now I have a jar. I went into the fisher, and I have a jar. That's new. I have a jar. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound good. Now I get to see where the game explodes. Uh. Okay. Well, I have to do this, I guess. Nice! My goodness, this is... This is gonna get crazy. This is gonna get crazy. Resume! It's our next one. Alright, so I guess... Bring... Yeah, okay. Get the jar. Take the jar through here. 
Okay. Hooray! We've done two levels! We've almost done the amount, same amount of progress. Did I read that wrong? I do apologize. It's resume, not resume. Performance! Did I say we're not going to be able to get up here? Listen to the excerpt. The jars store the instance of the room generator by entering the chest. They give you a single chance to return to a previous instance. That seems straightforward to me. Tomato, tomato. Let's not fall out and argue about it, guys. Alright, so. I can unlock that. You see, I have a sneaking suspicion. This is just, I, I don't know, I just have a sneaking suspicion. Oh, I need to, okay, no, balls it up. That was right. My sneaking suspicion was wrong. Works a lot easier if you just bring everything down to the same level. Works really well. Alright. I think I just messed this up, didn't I? I need both of these across here in order to... No, I lose that. Yeah, I messed it up. I should have taken that through with me first. Alright. Alright, I got this. I got this. one first, then use this to get into here. That's the kitty. Hey, look at me. I'm doing stuff and making progress. How fantastic is that?
Why would I want to get the ring? It seems a little odd. We can see what the ring says, clearly, but... Oh, I know what I should have done. An empty cupboard. I have to say, of all the empty cupboards I've ever been in, this one is slightly more disappointing than most. All right, so what I could have done, I believe, is... Done this. And then I could have left, left this here. Jumped into here. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, I, just, I don't know, that cupboard seems pointless other than to get the dialogue. Maybe I'm missing something here. Oh, no, I'm not missing anything. Yeah, okay, clever. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Wow, that's um, trippy. It's like that other one that we played before, wasn't it? I was like, what's the point of this lock? It does nothing, but then, yeah, it's to prevent you from doing something. Alright, so. What if... of a pot. That's the thing what I gotta do, duplicate the pots. Right, so let's create pot number one. Let's create pot number two. I need to take the key with me. I think for pot number two. Right. All right, now I go into first pot. Nope, I ain't right. I duplicate the key. How can I duplicate the key? Unless. Lost the key now. Unless I duplicate the pot and go down to the other, down to the bottom with the pot, perhaps. Returns me to there though. So yeah, it doesn't help me at all. Oh my goodness. It was going so well. It's going so swimmingly. Surely if I do this though and create the pot, that'll keep the key in there. Take that through with me. Leaving it down there will be 
pointless because I can't then take it anywhere else. Oh dear, okay. Think, think, think. Can I take a pot in a pot? No, that's out of the question as well. Alright, so. We can't take anything through there at all. I can take another pot. does nothing for me. cupboards I've ever been in, this one is slightly more disappointing than most. What I was trying to achieve, and it would have been very, like, cheesy. This is what I was trying to achieve, something like this. But no, I can't get through there in time. I try to get through there to see if I could like get the key to drop. Not like that, but the key carries on. So that's clearly not the right thing to do. Not sure what else I can try here though, that's the thing. The 
pot keeps a copy of the room. So if I get a pot. good though does it because I'm gonna lose I'll just lose it like that <sighs> this one's a monster what have you created to not spend so much time on these and move on and maybe like try and work on some different puzzles so I feel like I'm getting bogged down I mean this is everything we can have that's available to us right take us back into there okay so if I now do this I can't yeah but what if I did that So, take this. I need another pot. I'm just going to save it there, though. I can't. And that just does that. There's no way I can throw the chest down there, which is what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to move on to something else. That one's kicking my ass at the minute. So let's move on to build. Let's see if we can make any progress on this one instead, shall we? Interesting. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Come on, Earth am I meant to progress it through this? Oh, duplicate the stone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so. Now I think. Take this into here. Take this one into here. That now gives us four stones. Or five, you know. Never have too many, I guess.
It's quite mad that like some of them you go like stuck and you just cannot see anything on others so you just like kind of breeze through almost. Uh, sorry, what was this called? This one's called internal. I think the best thing to do always in this sort of situation is to bring everything onto the same level. Let's see what we got. So the lock on the key persists. So let's get rid of that first then, right? Oh. It's alright. It's alright. Do that. Bring the stone through here. Now I can take the key. Take the stone back. Take the stone here. the chest. Excellent. Entwine. What do you got to tell us this time? Comedy announcer? Jars inside chests inside oh, God. The worst part is, it's starting to seem like it makes sense. No, it ain't. Now, where was I? This will never make sense. Don't lie to me. Oh yeah, that's right, I can't do that, can I? Ha. That's the only way I can exit here, right? So now take this one in here. Now take this one in here. Now I need to grab this pot here. Maybe. Yep. do it all. Oh man. I can't proceed from here. I would need to have the block, right? Alright, so. Still streaming, Aaron, yeah. Damn straight.
Uh, I haven't got that far, Aaron, yet, no. Alright, so I got one with the key, one with the stone. So now, I need to take both of these across to here. Did you make this jump very easy, did you, poor Ponky? Jeez. Ah. I think that was the right idea. Jars inside chests inside jars. <coughs> Excuse me. have two stones just in case we need two. So that's key. Let's take a block. It's all right. It's not. It's not a big disaster. Not this point, anyway. Okay. Alright, so what I feel I need to do now... Can't return. I need to take a chest through to here with me. So in this room, I need to have a chest. A chest and a jar.
I'm not ignoring your own, but I just really can't think about this right now. Um, well, my favorite one this year has probably um, Armin van Buren's Sunny Days. That's been my favorite song this year, I think. Maybe I need to do it from in here. This will end in like losing though the chest, won't it? No, it won't. Okay. But it's kind of why I needed to do it from like over here, though. I mean, sure, that's all great and everything. All right, so next question is, can I get two blocks into here? Do that, but I won't be able to get back. So well and good. I got the key. Yeah. 
But that's all I got. Alright. Let's try a clasp. Just to try something different. Alright, we'll go in here. Let's have a look. So, okay. Green? What was that in response to Eddie? I need to save this room, like, in this state. That's what I need to do. Did I get the name of the... What's green? I don't follow. I'm confused. Doesn't take a lot. We've got to go in. That much is certain. That much is certain.
But yeah, I do that and then but that won't save. It's so frustrating when you know what you need to do, but you just cannot for the life of you see how to do it. I need to unlock the doors. Right. I need to unlock the two doors while not using Unlock the two doors while not using the jar. So then I can unlock the doors, use the jar. Will that even work? Take that into there, then the pot breaks. Kind of what I wanted to do. So that's one pop. Now. If I jump back into the pot, I can undo what I did. If I take the pot through, I would now lose the pot if I go back for the key, right? So create a new pot.
Maybe I should have put both the keys in the pots. I mean, I'm even starting to doubt my own reasoning now. do that. Well, <clears throat> I think that's probably as good a place as any to call it for today. Um, I think we did quite a few levels, but at the same time, I appreciate that... Um, the levels that we did do were probably more like the tutorial levels for the area, so um, I probably shouldn't feel so proud of the amount of levels I did complete today. But in comparison to Thursday's stream, we um, we did a lot more. So we'll be back tomorrow, guys. Um, delving back into these puzzles, and um, I'll certainly give it some thought as to how I can maybe tackle some of those other ones. If not, we'll move on to the bottom three here, although I can only imagine the bottom three are going to be just as hard, but we have now unlocked the void as well. And um, then we've got the two extra tapestries to, to tackle as well. Um, I don't know that I'm really going to... I don't think I'm going to worry too much about paradoxes. Made good progress on the ones I didn't solve. Oh, that's, that's reassuring to know. That's reassuring to know. I'm gonna try and think. I'm gonna try and focus more on the puzzles as opposed to the paradoxes. So, um, yeah, and then um, maybe we can come back to paradoxes at a later stage. But as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate the support. Links are on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. And like I said, we'll be back tomorrow, continuing our playthrough of Recursed. But until next time, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming. <laughs>